Currently, we've got 91 degrees downtown, but we expect to reach a high today of 109. You heard me. So leave it right here, San Paulo, and we'll do our best to keep you frosty. Hey. Hey. Oh, the air conditioner's blowing hot air. It's got to leak somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> Some engineer. They happen to be a specialist. Really? <laughs> Hi, Richie. Hey, guys. Hey, Allison. Hey, hey Richie. Hi. Look. A coffee dog. Dad, can I have one? I want one, too. I, I gotta go. I know what it is. Uh, uh, what about coffee cool. dog? I leave it in your capable hands. Oh. Goodbye. Mm. Bye, kids. See you later. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Mr. Bye, Mr. Miller. Have a good day at the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta feed him, boy. He was thirsty. Hey, let me do it. Bye, Dad. Bye, bye. See you tonight. Bye, Daddy. Must be nice. Yeah. I'll drop Bobby and Amelia off at the hospital when I'm done. Okay? All right, you guys. Have fun. Thank you. Bye, Mo. Bye, mommy. See ya. Hey, cool. Richard. Let's go. in 30 minutes. Okay, what's going on? All right, tell me later. Yeah. Hey, boss. Um, so, what was so important you couldn't tell me over the phone? You looked pretty snazzy there. Yeah, I uh, been down to the mayor's office. So what is it, rationing? We've been expecting that. I've been working on possible scenarios we can handle it. Damn it, Bob, it's not rationing. At least not yet. Besides, that's not your job. That's my job. Oh. Well, my apologies. Look, we uh, got a situation. Lou, whatever it is, just, just say it. The plant. What about it? They cut the funding for the new plant. Cut? Eliminated. Mm. Oh. Okay, continue the IV. See if she'll keep any water down. Monitor the output, run a full panel, send her blood downstairs. <clears throat> Mrs. Hackett, I'm Susan Miller. Huh. Uh, admit her. Mm. How's she doing? Abdominal pain, fever, dehydration. Mm. Mm. My stomach. Flu? That or food poisoning. Thirsty. I'm so thirsty. Here you go. <sighs> Mrs. Hackett, mm. we're going to take very good care of you. Do you remember what you had for dinner last night? See if you can get a history. A hamburger. We had hamburger. Thirsty. So thirsty. Hi, is this morning, Glenn? Yeah, I'm calling from St. Michael's Regional Hospital. Oh, we've just admitted one of your residents. Clara Hackett? Yeah. Right. Um, I'm going to need to know what your menu's been for the past couple of days. Uh, I'll call you back. Exam four and five. Water. Can you give me some water? Code blue, exam one. I get the cash card in here. 
Coming through. All right, let's bag her. Come on, let's go. Paddle. Here we go. Got it. Got it. Right, again. Clear. Again. Clear. Again. Clear. What the hell happened? Mrs. Hackett and the patients in bed four and five all live at the same address. What are you talking about? Morning Glen Retirement Home. Yeah. Same kitchen, same meals. They all had hamburger for dinner last night. Okay, get on the line to County Health. Tell them there might be some bad meat out there and they got to get on top of these fast. Station, right? That's right. No more launch delays. It's a little messy right now, but give me some time. It's going to look great. Can I help? Well, you better. Great. I'll go get my tools. Good. Thank you. You're home early on a weeknight to uh, have a beer and build a playhouse for your son. Yeah, well, what's wrong with that? Um, nothing. Uh, it's just that in the nine months that we've been here, it hasn't happened before. Well, I thought it might be a, a good chance to, uh, to update my resume. What happened? Lou's not sure. All he could get from the mayor was that funding is no longer available and the project is postponed indefinitely. But the bond issue was specifically to design and build a brand new state-of-the-art treatment facility. That's why they brought you here. Well, that's the other shoe. I have until the end of the month. Lights out, kiddo. Okay. Have you figured out the secret yet? Not yet. Dad? Yeah? What if I wanted to change my name to Neil Armstrong? Are you really ready to give up the name Miller? I'll think about it. It's always a good idea. Are we going to move again? Oh. Let's not worry about that now, okay? Rich stayed in San Paulo his whole life. Yeah, I, I know. Hey, I like it here, too. You ready? Yeah. Martha visits every Monday. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. Just stays until noon. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Period. Pluto. Good night, kiddo. Good night. Well, they're down. I don't want to leave. Do you think I do? Okay, hear, hear me out, all right? I can go on full-time at the hospital, and um, we have our savings, and we can just hold out here until you find something else here. You know, it's not just the money. This was a chance to use everything I know, everything I've learned, everything I, I, I believe in. It was a chance to finally do things right. Okay. The sudden illness that has left two residents of the Morning Glen home dead and 11 others Wait, hospitalized at St. Michael's remains a mystery. Earlier today, Jason Croft spoke with the Dr. Lawrence Carver of the County Medical Department. Everything we have so far suggests food contamination. 
We are looking at the possible presence of E. coli served in hamburger meat at the morning Glen home. Just how dangerous could that be, Doctor? Well, obviously deadly. Well, thankfully, it appears to be confined. So no connection, then, to the uh, contaminated strawberries that left several hundred people sick in San Paolo two years ago? A completely different situation. But tonight, there are disturbing reports of other sick people, including non-Morning Glen residents showing up at hospitals and clinics around the city. And as yet, we have no definite source for the contamination. This is Anna Oranos reporting live News okay. 4 outside the Morning Glen home. We saw some of those people in the ER today. <sighs> They were so sick. They were uh, cramping in pain and begging for water. Hmm. Whatever it is, I hope they catch it in time. Well, they said it was it's E. coli. I don't know. Remember when we were in Portland and they had that E. coli contamination? Dairy products. I treated some of those patients. This was, it was different somehow. Different how? Worse. Should check the water in that place. Hmm? Should check the water in the uh, retirement home. Water's always the last thing to think of, you know? No respect. unprecedented number of emergency room admissions. Patients are complaining of symptoms that health officials suspect could be food poisoning. However, all meat samples tested so far have been negative. I think Meanwhile, we should test the city water. Susan was at the hospital yesterday. She described the symptoms. It doesn't sound like E. coli. Since when did you become an MD? I want the back T sample results. Normal. And what would we test for? Well, you tell me. When, when was the last time you had any water contamination in this area? Two years ago. Uh -huh. And what was that? Cryptosporidium. But that wasn't city water. Some local strawberry grower had it contaminated well. Yeah, the guy on the news mentioned that. The symptoms fit. No, they don't. We didn't have any deaths. Just some people with stomach aches. Besides that, our filters take that bug right out. Lou, it couldn't hurt to test. Let the health department do their job. Well, water is our job. You are opening a can of worms. I hope this doesn't have anything to do with what you were saying yesterday. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Questioning the efficiency of this facility in order to prove a point. Is that what you think? I don't know what to think. Right now, that's what it looks like. Street water treatment plant. What can I do for you? Well, I saw you on TV, and uh, I'm assuming I'd like you to run some tests on water. We're not set up for it at the plant. Test for what? Cryptosporidium. Come on back. Where were these samples taken? Chavez Reservoir, various locations and depths. It's an impressive little parasite, Cryptosporidium. <laughs> Usually found in farm animals, especially cattle. Spores are released into the environment, rivers, lakes, through waste products. I know. I uh, reviewed a study of the Milwaukee incident. Then you know what they're looking for as a host? Us. They burrow into the cells of the lower intestine and produce more spores. Host cells lose their ability to absorb nutrition. More importantly, water. You die of thirst. Exactly.
take a look. Is this what I think it is? Yes. So it's in the reservoir? I guess in substantial amounts. Well, that's it then. We, we need to shut down the reservoir until we get it cleared out. And we should test any other local water sources as well. Including tap water? Well, cryptosporidium can't get through the plant's filters. They were designed that way. No? The sample you just looked at was taken from this tap. Hi, it's me. Hi. Hi. Uh, listen, hon, where, where are the kids? The kids? Why? S something's come up. W where are they? Um, Bobby is at Allison's with Rich, and Amelia's still at day camp. What's wrong? Um, we've, we've got a problem at the uh, reservoir. Uh, I'm about to go into a meeting. I don't have time to explain, but please, let's just uh, get them home, all right, as soon as possible. Bob, you're scaring me. And, and Susan, no water. That means pools, showers, hand, face washing, nothing. Nothing liquid that didn't come in a sealed container. Okay? You, you too. No, it, it's 100 degrees outside. Nothing. Well, how bad is it? It's... it's bad. is the key to getting through your day. Remember to drink at least eight glasses of water. And for those of you trying to escape the heat, it's stopping. Hey, come on in. Where are the boys? I uh, dropped them at the rec center. Come on, we gotta go now. Why, what's wrong? Come on. Where do you think they could be? Maybe over here. Let's check the pool. Over this way. See that jump? Bobby, get out of the pool. Wear your clothes. Sure. Dude, get them, okay? Come on, let's go now. We're leaving. Well, we just... Now! Rich, come on, you too. <laughs> what just do we have to go home so soon? Come on, well, man. Can Rich Sorry, sweetie. Home? Just get your clothes, okay? We gotta go now. Come on, let's go. is with this lousy air conditioning. There must be a half a million faucets in this city. You want to test every one? Just a representative sample to determine the rate of infiltration of the parasite into the system. If any. We already know there's some. Dawn of the 21st century, we can land a glorified golf cart on the moon. Here on Earth, a microscopic bug beats the hell out of us. Mr. Mayor, we have five dead, and at least a hundred sick. We need to get started now, sir. All right, do it fast. Keep it quiet. We don't want to panic. I want results by the end of the day. Bob, can I have a minute? I realize uh, this is... Awkward for both of us, but uh, even so, under the circumstances. You mean you're firing me? 
I still need your best efforts to help us through this crisis. Now, Lou has served the city well and long, and we appreciate that, believe me, but he doesn't have your stamina. Lou's fine, sir. And I will do my job as long as I have one. Always have. Good. I'm counting on you. seeing it's everywhere then there's no telling how many people have been exposed including us the cryptosporidium outbreak in milwaukee several years ago infected over 400,000 people 100 fatalities i've contacted the cdc they're sending in a team where did these things come from we don't know we will try of course to locate a source but that is not the immediate problem and why the hell not you tell me it's in our water delivery system? You don't care where it came from in the first place? We expect the reservoir water to be dirty. That's what water treatment does. It cleans and purifies dirty water. L let me get this straight. This is the reservoir. This is my kitchen. These are the parasites. The water treatment plants. What am I missing here? You're right. The filtration process should have caught it. But it didn't. Which means that there is a leak somewhere in the system. Mr. Miller, when we hired you to oversee the construction of the city's new water treatment facility, you told us that the current plant would be good for another six years. I said it could last another six years at best. That was a warning. It wasn't a boast. What about adding more chlorine at the reservoir? Ineffective. You can add all the chlorine in the world that'll kill people before it kills cryptosporidium. Will someone please tell me how to stop this thing? Doctor? Boil it. The spores are rendered inactive at boiling temperature. Finally, an answer. Well, our water system services a population of over 300,000 people. Now, at 120 gallons per day, average summer household consumption, you're looking at 20 to 25 million gallons per day. That's a lot of boiling water. My God. Unless we find and plug this leak, sir, a lot more people are going to get sick. Well, what about the sick? How do we get them well? Ironically, water. Clean water, lots of it. You can't kill the parasite in the body, but you can, with patient care, flush it and prevent reinfection. I'll make the announcement. Let me stress again that no water is to be used for either bathing or consumption unless it has been boiled until the crisis is past. Your local television stations and newspapers will provide daily reminders and additional information on boiling guidelines. Once again, we uh, regret having to take this action and hope to see the situation remedied soon. Thank you. And I repeat, you must throw out all food and beverages that could have been prepared with More information will follow the deadly parasite. Boil all water. water. 
We have a major crisis on our hands. Right now, you can the city hate my guts. And I don't like it one bit. Get it the hell out of my water. for wells in the northwest. Maybe we could get our hands on some of that water. I know a district manager up there. It would take weeks. Okay. Then the Colorado supply. We don't have the time. In-state sources would be faster, but with the drought, we'd have to wait in line. Besides, we'd have to pass the water through our system, run the risk of reinfection. You know, the problem is here. This is where we draw the line. So, where do you want to start? I think we should pull the filters. All right. Let's do it. Look at her. She needs a doctor now. So does everyone here, sir. She'll be looked at in turn after you've checked in. Water, please. I'm just so thirsty. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. There's none available at the moment. They have water? We ran out. Damn you. What the hell is wrong with you? This is supposed to be a hospital. Sir, please. You need to calm down. Uh, Deborah, not... maybe, maybe I can help you. Okay. Hi. Things are really crazy right now, so uh, maybe I can help you. Um, what, what's your name? Ellen. Ellen Morgan. Okay, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Morgan, listen, we're going to have some drinkable water available to the patients any minute now. Thank you. Can, can you hold out until then? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry about that. No, don't worry about it. I understand. If you all can just take a seat right here, and I'll get some water back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Susan! Allison, what are you doing here? It's Rich. He, he, he just got so hot and he just kept asking for more and more to drink. And I mean, I boiled the water. I did everything that they said. And, uh, uh, where is he? he? He's with the doctor. I did everything. Uh, of course you did. Um, how long have you been here? Uh, okay, well, what's the name of the doctor? Um, Conroy. Conrad? Conrad, yeah. Okay, uh, I'll go see what I can find out. Wait, Susan. Bobby and Rich were in the same pool together. I know. pale and weak, and he didn't even recognize me. Where's Allison? She's at the hospital still, and, um, I'm gonna bring her fresh clothes in the morning. Oh, that'll be fine. I should go check on the kids, huh? You just checked on them five minutes ago. Best friends, they do everything together. Well, that doesn't mean that Bobby's gonna get sick. <laughs> oh, that poor baby. 
baby. Honey, promise me you're gonna get some rest. Okay, you're exhausted. What I could really use is a hot bath. How about you? I just have a couple of minutes. We're getting ready to pull the filters. I want to check on the kids. Be careful. I can handle it. They're just kids. <laughs> I love you. Neil. Oh, so you, you decided. I'm trying it out. Yeah? Well, it's bedtime, Neil. Come on. There we go. Did you know Richard's sick? Yeah, I did. Mm. He's got that crypto... Cryptosporidium, yes, I know. Do you think he's gonna die? I think he will. Why do you say that? I don't want you to worry. I think Rich will be fine. It's your job to keep the water clean, right? Yes, it is. But you know, sometimes things happen, no matter what you do. Now it's a problem and uh, we're gonna solve it. And hopefully Rich will be better soon. What if I get it? Then your mom and I will take care of you. The way we always do. Okay? Good night, Dad. Good night. You want to leave the light on tonight? That's okay. I'm not a little kid. Stay focused. This is mislabeled. No, it's not. How long has this water been boiling? Eleven minutes. Tap water? Yes. percent of the boiled samples still have viable spores. Boiling is not killing it. It's impossible. Heat kills cryptosporidium. Get a sample of the CDC fast. Something's wrong. You're overreacting. This is confirmed. This is not a theory. This is real. Surely, Mr. Mayor, you have no choice. Turn off the water now. Regretfully, it appears that the boiling of water has proven less than completely effective at killing the parasite. Consequently, the city water will be shut off at 1 p.m. today. Mr. Mayor, are you, are, you, are you saying that even with the boiling that we're still ingesting this thing all along? County health officials are still investigating the situation in an effort to understand the unique nature of this particular... We are estimating three days. Maybe longer. Mr. Mayor. Uh, wait, we've made arrangements to have an adequate supply of water trucked in. We're setting up distribution centers, and every resident will be informed how and where they can pick up their water. 
proper conservation, we can all get fired. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, public buildings and the schools will be closed until the crisis passes. Now, we cannot do this without the complete cooperation of the public. Mr. Mayor, 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 Mr.
Answers. We understand you have some. Where can we talk? Uh, the mayor's waiting. He's got the governor on a conference call. Need to wait. Go ahead. Well, sir, gentlemen, what we've got is a new strain of an old germ, a particularly nasty one. Our lab estimates a survival rate among untreated or insufficiently treated patients at near 50%. We're calling it Cryptosporidium C. Remember, that's only an estimate. It's based on a very small sample. The truth is, we don't know what it's capable of. Mayor, how is it that the state matched funds to the tune of $15 million for you to build a new water treatment facility two years ago? And what I get million. instead is a civic disaster. Well, Governor, uh, unfortunately, the water project had to be put on the back burner. Other priorities and contingencies evolved. Spare me the double talk. I have a more difficult decision to make right now. And what is that, sir? We have reports of the hybrid parasite infecting people as far away as 50 miles from the city, well outside your water delivery systems. How many of your residents have already left San Paulo? Uh, thousands since rationing began, and it's accelerating daily. If we don't take steps to stop it, they could spread the infection throughout the entire state. Oh, bodily contact. Oh, that's absurd. No, it's not. We shook hands when I came in. If I had it on my hands, you just put it in your mouth. I can't let this thing spread. We have the authority. We're calling in the National Guard to assist with the quarantine. The worst heat wave of the century, we're without water, and now you're locking us up? I've got a major drought, brownouts, a dozen brush fires burning out of control, and state resources taxed to the limit. I can't add a plague to that. You'll get all the medical help and water I can spare. The decision's been made. He'll have water. He'll stand a chance. What are we going to do? You can come or not. I saw Allison's son being wheeled away to the morgue today. Okay, I'm not going to let that happen. Okay, all right. Quarantine goes into effect at midnight. That gives us an hour before the National Guard closes the room. We have time. Come on. Come on. All right. I'm going to get you there safe, but then I'm going to have to... I know. You're going to have to come back. Come on. Please, get into the car. The governor announced that San Paulo will be quarantined. All freeways and surface streets leading into and out of the city will be closed by midnight tonight. In addition, the governor has asked for federal relief and will send in the National Guard to keep peace and distribute bottled water. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I'm thirsty. Here you go, baby. 
much as you like. Stay here. I am sorry, ma'am. The road is closed. No, no, it's not. We've got a half an hour until midnight. These people have a right to get through here. The deadline's been changed. My orders were to close the road immediately. It's done. San Paulo is continuing to see huge numbers of infected people checking into area hospitals. City Death officials are dealing with a severe shortage of city and county beds. There was a cryptosporidium outbreak in Milwaukee, which resulted Doctor, in open... I don't months understand months. why I'm so thirsty. The parasite deprives your body of hydration. A simple explanation is your body is dying of thirst. Experience. You call the emergency placement hotline. The mayor promises yes. that everything is being done to clean the city's water supply as soon as possible. all restaurants, bars, and lawn San Paulo is beginning National to look like National Guard has called in additional units to aid in the mobilization efforts. Sweltering citizens can find no relief. Widespread power outages caused by the overuse of air conditioners are plaguing the city. Authorities are urging homeowners to minimize their air conditioner use to half-hour spurts. County water officials are asking the public to carefully conserve their allotted bottled water. News on the street is that 12 ounces of bottled water can go for as high as $100. Fever's still so high. I need to get more water into him. You should get back to the plant. I just, I, I don't want to leave you here alone. No, I'll be fine. Hey. Hey, son. Son, Dad's got to leave for a little while, but Mom's going to stay here with you, okay? I'm going to go home. <laughs> no. Soon, I promise. Okay, I'll call you from the plant first chance I get. Love you. So long now. Hey, baby. Dr. Stevens says the municipal samples have arrived and are being held in cold storage. How's your boy? He's hanging in there. Thanks. So, what am I looking at? Well, we add a chemical to the water as it enters here. It acts as a gel. It makes all the particles in the water clump together into chunks. Then, the water's filtered through five feet of crushed coal and a foot of sand. And out comes... clean water. Theoretically. It went through the filters like they weren't even there. It took out barely 10% additional of the spores. I don't believe that. It might be the new strain of this parasite. Or it could be the shape or flexibility of Cryptosporidium C. I don't know, but it's worth a detailed study. Oh, that doesn't do us any good now. Damn it. Alan has worked as a flocculating chemical at that plant for 50 years. Wait. You said alum? I didn't get alum. I got polyaluminum chloride. But yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. We switched over about a month ago. Why? Well, it works better. You, you get less corrosion in the pipes, which means fewer customer complaints. It's tested well all over the country. I, I actually recommended it. I would like to retest using alum. 
Are you saying you think that's going to make a difference? What I'm saying is that for 50 years, alum seems to have been an effective deterrent. And then a month ago, you change, and now we have contamination. I mean, I, I, I could check it in the lab, but I don't think it's going oh, to... Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I'll get everything uh, changed around at the plant. I'll call you when it's ready. You can come down and uh, take some samples at the source. Switch over immediately. Flush the polyaluminum chloride out of the system and switch. There is no reason to believe it'll make any difference. Lou, we're going to try this, okay? I don't care what the chances are. We're trying it. admitting well I did um I'm applying for a transfer to your ward now with you we don't need administrative personnel I've been an RN for 10 years I have advanced certifications in critical care pediatrics neonatal and intensive care you can check my work history with personnel your son's not the only patient on this floor I know that I also know that you could use the help up here right now. I'll call for snow. Thanks. Bobby. He's stable. Bobby's a strong boy. He'll pull through. Water. It's always just been there. It's not something you worried or even thought about. And now, it's everything. Let's go get our water. Have your IDs ready. Two IDs required. Two bottles per family. No one will receive water without proper ID. Let's see what you got. Right. There's a one. There's two. And your ID? Walk uh, straight. What? You can't send your water until the truck reaches your street. That's ridiculous. But those are the rules. Okay, move aside. Let others in. No, you listen to me. This woman is staying with me in my home, helping me take care of my family. Now, a half a block up there, you're going to turn on her street anyway. You checked her off. You've seen her ID. Give her the water. Here you go. Give her the water. Let's go. The next. Come on, keep it moving, keep it moving. Two IDs. When is this going to end? I'll take these. I'll, I'll go put them in the fridge. Look what else I made. Is Bobby better? Can I see him? Look at those. Oh, those are beautiful. This one for me. This one. This one. Now, Bobby is, um, he's still sick. Can't see him just yet, though. But he told me to send his love. That he didn't. <laughs> Well, he meant to. Mm. Wait here one sec, okay? Sweet. 
sister-in-law beads like this when I was her age. She loved it. Thank you. It was great for her. Thank you. For what? Turning to me for the company. I couldn't have faced going back to that empty house. I needed this more than anything. This is for Bobby. <laughs> Get it going. It's really pretty simple. I know Rich would want him to have it. I'm sure he'll treasure it. <sighs> the kids stared at the glowing metal disc. What is it, said Tracy. It must be some kind of key, answered Tom. He placed the disc in the slot. The wall began to glow. Then it slid aside to reveal a long, dark tunnel. was placed on an indefinite hold. Now, in light of this current crisis, can you explain why that is? Certainly. As you know, the money was raised with the help of matching state funds. Now, this office had every intention of proceeding with that project. Unfortunately, the man hired to design and build that new plant has proven unreliable. In fact, this is still speculation. He may be partially responsible for the pollution problem we are experiencing. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor. Give us a name. Give us a name. Give us a name. Uh, under the circumstances, I don't think that's appropriate, no. Is it, is, is it Robert Miller? As I said, I don't think that that is appropriate. Deny the man's name is Robert Miller. No. Mayor, Mr. Mayor? Mr. Mayor? Yeah, Jim. Well, how can he blame you? How can he lie like that? I should have expected... Wait. You knew about this? Uh. Well, it is a lie, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe not. I can't imagine using the alum instead of polyaluminum chloride will make any difference, but let's keep our fingers crossed. For what it's worth, the mayor's full of it. Doesn't matter. If it works, I don't care what else happens. What then? Get my son well and the others who are sick. That's it, isn't it? That's everything.
Miller? Same result. The island was inconsequential. We're back at square one. Okay. No go. Well, at least it gets you off the hook. Well, it does. It's our problem, Lou. It's always been our problem. Not the mayor's, not the governor's, not public health's, ours. If we don't solve this, whatever happens, it's our fault. Don't listen to me. You open just the sector eight valves. You keep the rest of the Western Division shut off. We just need to light up these few hydrants. Lou, Lou, these are people's homes. They, they would take the risk if it were up to them. We, we got to give them that. Okay. You'll be wet in five minutes. Open up sector eight. Half pressure. Please get off the street. Return to your homes. It's for your own safety. Let's go. Help us out here. Please get back. structure of the spores. The flocculation chemicals won't pick it up. Doctor, if you wanted to kill everything in a given area, what would you use? What's the deadliest gas known to man? You mean one of those nerve gases? No, no. Basic. You run electrical current through oxygen. What do you get? O2 becomes O3. Ozone. Here. The new plant was to be built in phases. 
the last phase, phase five, was going to incorporate the most advanced concept in water treatment, ozonation. Experimental? Somewhat, but it's been tried in locations here and overseas. It works. Now, the drawback is it's expensive, but it'll kill anything. I mean, anything it's met so far. It hasn't met Cryptosporidium C. But well, phase five, I mean, you, you're, you're talking about years of development. You know, here's all you need. Liquid oxygen, electrical power, lots of it, and an ozone generation tank. Now, the first two are easy. The third, I can probably get my hands on. But even if you can produce enough ozone in sufficient quantities, how would you get it into the water? I mean, there's a whole delivery system here that doesn't exist. I'm a water engineer. I'll rig something. Dr. Carver, Mr. Miller, Jason Croft, Channel 4 News. A few questions, please. No comment. Mr. Miller, isn't it true that criticism directed toward you by the mayor has turned out to be unfounded? That doesn't matter. Here's the real question, okay? Fifteen million dollars, half from the bond issue, half from the state. Where is it? Where's the money? Where did it go? Kill it. I think I can answer that. Son of a bitch. Mr. Mayor. Where did you get that? Leave or I'll call security. Fine. Just be sure to uh, tune into Channel 4 in about a half an hour. Watch their special report, okay? I did nothing wrong. Nothing wrong? Nothing wrong? That money was supposed to be for water. You used it for land development? Which would have brought millions of dollars of revenue into this city. Enough to build three water plants. Yeah, except now your precious technology park is going to have to be used as a cemetery, isn't it? You're saying what happened was my fault? Well, you had the power to do something about it. Now, just listen. What do you want? I want a million and a half dollars from your discretionary fund. A million and a half? Actually, you know what? Make it two million. For ancillary supplies and equipment. Ancillary supplies for what? An ozone generation tank, state of the art. If we act fast, I can pull some strings, steal one on its way to Reno. It'll be trucked in tonight. Ozone generation, why? To do what you told us to do, Mr. Mayor. Get that bug the hell out of your water. Feel the refreshment of Surt's powerful mints. Like skinny dipping. In Fargo. Okay, this is it. Ozone generator will be parked here. We'll have lines running directly from it into tank 15. You think it'll hold? Aren't the new holding tanks for ozone generators specially constructed? Three feet thick with computerized flow, pressure, and temperature controls. Well, this isn't anything near that. Well, it doesn't have to last for 20 years. It just has to get us by. Look, if we keep an eye on the pressure, it'll hold. It has to. So, we bubble the ozone through. We pump it out through perforated PVC. We draw off the top through sealed blowers. What's our water count? Full up, near a million gallons. How much electricity are we talking about to feed and degenerate? Lots. High amps, we're going to have to come in right off the city grid. And the oxygen? Liquefied. It's easier to work with. Tanker trucks are en route. We're going to need a lot more than a million gallons. Hey, we pump it out, we fill it up, we zap it, we pump it out again. We're at 25% capacity in, in, what, one day? Short term, the city could live with that, Lou. Without it, it can't live at all. It'll be ugly. We'll have to watch it the whole time, but it'll work. Well, I hate to be the voice of doom and gloom, but what if everything goes as planned and the bug is still there? Ozone killed Cryptosporidium C in the lab. This isn't the lab. I know, Lou, it'll work. It will work.
was reading to him, and he mumbled something. He wanted a drink. Yeah? Yeah. Hi, Dad. Hi, yourself. Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. I was dreaming, and I can't remember. Shh. Don't strain yourself. I'm tired. Well, it's okay. You just keep resting, okay? I, uh, I really only had a minute. That's okay. Go. He's gonna make it. Hey. How are things going down there? Well, I don't want to jinx anything, but, uh... I think we have a chance.
What do you got now, Andy? Still 125. Right, I'm getting something different. Keep an eye on the board. Watch this. Watch it. I got a brother-in-law manages a car dealership in Phoenix. Maybe he could use a couple extra salesmen. Hate that guy. Gentlemen, I'd like to propose a toast. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Congratulations, Mary. Good work. Fine work. Good work. The system will be fully pressurized by noon today. Now, we ask that everyone allow their water to run a full six hours so that the spores will be fully flushed out. Do not use or touch the water during this time. Now, I want to stress that we are still dealing with a very severe water shortage, and this is only a temporary solution until the new uh, plant gets built. Mayor, when will the city begin building the new water treatment plant? Right away, now that the funds have been made available and We've got the right man for the job. up here, huh? Not bad. Yeah. 
Did you adjust those afterburners? No. There we go. And did you get a reading on those compass headings, Mr. Armstrong? There you go, Dad. You know something, Dad? I think I'm going to still be Bobby Miller. Why is that? Because you, you couldn't be any prouder of your old man if he was a, an astronaut that walked on the moon? No. If I was Armstrong, I'd have to sit in front of the class all the time. <laughs> hey! Hey, hey! Stop that! Get her! Go get her! Stop her! Stop her! Danger! All right, all right. <laughs> hey, want a beer? Yes, thank you. Or maybe just want a little water. No thanks. You think? No, maybe please, just a honey. Stop it! No! <laughs> Oh, no, no, no.